What do foreigners need to know when investing in U.S. stocks? People from around the world invest in U.S. equities, partnerships, mutual funds, etc. Right? However, there are tax implications that you should be aware of if you're a foreigner investing in the United States. I'm Vincenzo Vilmina, CPA, founder of Global Expat Advisors. We advise foreigners doing all sorts of investments in the United States, whether it's stock portfolio, real estate, etc., and we could help you. So here are some of the implications. First off, as a foreigner investing in the United States, um, there are no capital gains on stocks. So if you buy Apple or Google, etc., and you sell it, the United States will not tax you on those gains. Of course, you might have tax implications in your home country. However, the U.S. does tax on dividend and interest. And the way they do it is they withhold automatically. So you are subject to an automatic 30% withholding. However, if you are a resident of a country with a tax treaty, that can be reduced generally between 10, 15, 20% withholding. But irregardless, there is withholding. So if you're a foreigner and you want to optimize, buy more stocks where there's capital gains or capital gains distributions and less dividend paying stocks. Okay. Tip two. If you have over $60,000 invested in U.S. Citus assets, you could be subject to estate and inheritance tax, which means that if you pass away and you have money in a stock portfolio, your heirs could be subject to up to 45% state inheritance tax, okay? This includes any type of real estate, mutual fund, index fund, stock, again, partnership, if it is a U.S. Citus asset, as that is defined, um, you could be subject to that inheritance tax. So how do you prevent that? You prevent that by opening it up and putting your stock portfolio, your real estate, et cetera, into a foreign trust or a foreign company. The reason is because when you pass away, that stock isn't transferring to your heirs. Only the shares of that foreign company or that foreign trust are transferred to your heirs. So the U.S. will not tax on the inheritance of foreign shares of stock, okay? Tip three, there is no CRS known as common reporting standards for US accounts for people that are interested in that. Tip four, a lot of people also ask me, well, should I hold my stock portfolio in my personal name or an LLC name? Again, if it's under 60,000, you don't have that inheritance tax risk, it doesn't matter in the United States. However, this might be a good question for your local tax accountants because it could have implications locally. And also, we see most of our foreign clients use interactive brokers as a custodian because it is more conducive to foreigners. A lot of the U.S. brokerage accounts and houses do not accept foreigners that maybe they don't have a U.S. address or social security number. So again, if you're looking for a good custodian, that is a good one in interactive brokers. And then finally, there's also no withholding tax on any bank interest. So if you just have a normal checking or savings account in the United States, you do not have to worry about any type of withholding tax there. If you have any questions, if you want to open up an LLC, if you want to open up a foreign uh, company to hold your US site as assets, anything of that nature when it comes to investing in the United States and the tax implications, you can reach out to us at Global Expat Advisors and we'd be happy to guide you.